Hi, it's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions with a bonus tip on creating a sloped beam with cabinet soffits. First of all, I've drawn the room with roof over it, and I'm going to open the room and make sure that the ceiling is not a flat ceiling. So whether I'm using the roof or a ceiling plane, I cannot have that flat ceiling there. Then I've drawn the cabinet soffit with this little arrow pointing in the up direction so the front of the soffit is up at the ridge. I'm going to open the soffit and click on sloped soffit and place under roof. Just like that I've got a faux beam here. I can adjust the width and the height however I like. There's that. Let's look at the possibility of doing a sloped framing member. I'll create a general framing member and I'm going to take a section of this Turn on framing. Uh, there it is. It's down here. If I move that up, don't believe I can actually change the general framing at least. The easier way to do that, now I'm thinking about it, is let's draw a roof rafter. That's not, no, I don't want that. Roof rafter, there we go. Roof rafters is not displayed. I'm going to display that. Let's go into section and turn on framing roof rafters. I can select this, make it, let's say, a nine and a quarter and four inches wide. And what I could do is just uh, transform replicate this minus four inches. And let's pull this down. It's going to keep the um, notch for the for the uh, plate. And I don't think I can change that really. Now I can't change that um, detail there. So it would, let's turn on the roof rafters in the elevation. So you would see that that flat section for the as if it was cutting the bird's mouth for the uh, plate. So that may not be a, the greatest way to do it. I would suggest the uh, soffit tool. I hope that helps. Have a great day.